kindergarten and moms it's mrs Vicello and cooper all right and we're outside on another beautiful day and we thought today would be a great day to read a special mother's day story to our kindergartners and our moms okay we brought a fun um, little friend with us today who did we bring today cooper? we brought sacco sacco and cooper his eyes are crooked so they can't really see him so good there he is so sacco is just what cooper's saying he's a sock puppet. puppet and we thought we would share sacco because he's a fun little activity that you can do with your moms or on your own to make your own sock puppet so we'll share with him later right Coop? Mm -hmm. all right before we start we got a fun mother's day card for our moms don't we Coop? Uh -huh. can you help me read it it uh, says mom you warm in my heart you warm my heart oh, and on the inside it says happy mother's day happy mother's day so moms we are so thankful for you and for all that you're doing that Cooper and I wanted to dedicate this reading to all the moms who are home teaching their kids mm -hmm. and taking good care of them. Mm -hmm. So happy Mother's Day moms. And boys and girls, we're not going to do a story lesson today. We are just going to enjoy a story. So the story we picked for today is What Moms Can't Do. What Moms Can't Do? <laughs> Written by Douglas Wood. And the illustrations are by Doug Cushman. And there you go. What moms can't do. There are lots of things that regular people can do, but moms can't. Moms can't wait to wake up their kids in the morning. They can't make the bed without lots of help. help. Mm -hmm. Moms can never pick up just the right clothes and they have trouble keeping things cleaned up. Boy Coop, good thing that mom has a kid to help her, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Moms can't have yummos with purple marshmallows for breakfast. Only coffee or tea or yogurt or bran flakes. Yuck. They need a little advice when they're packing lunches. <laughs> and look at what advice do you think that boy is trying to give his mom packing that lunch coop? Packing popsicles. Or Chocolate. Oh, Ma chocolate and what's mom picking sandwich and carrots mom's got all the healthy stuff and the child needs to give his mom advice on what good stuff to put in there not healthy just tasty right <laughs> moms can't run very fast sometimes moms can't hear themselves think whatever that means <laughs> has mommy ever said that to you Cooper I can't hear myself think <laughs> That's when the kids are being what? Loud. Loud. Moms are not good at saying goodbye, even to their teacher. <laughs> oh, because they talk Because they talk a lot. And at this one, moms didn't want to say goodbye because they get sad, right? Yeah. Moms are sad about their kids all day long. But, yep, that happens to me a lot. I get talking to the moms, and the kids are like, let's go, Mom. Moms can't push grocery carts fast enough, and sometimes they need help opening doors or carrying in groceries, right, Cooper? Yeah. That's right. Moms aren't strong enough. They need lots of help. Uh-huh. <laughs> Moms don't know how to keep salamanders in their shirts or toads in their pockets. Do you think your mom would like to find salamanders in your shirts or toads in your pockets, Scoop? No. No. I think I would scream. Moms aren't very good ta tacklers, and they can't make a basket on their own. <laughs> Moms are easy to squirt, but they have a hard time squirting you, usually. <laughs> look at that mom's a 
she's a sitting goose. She's ready to get sprayed. But mom got him back. <laughs> Do you think he liked that? No. You don't think so? Look at that smile. Oh, I think yeah. he loved it. <laughs> Moms really don't like to watch movies by themselves. And sometimes they need protection during the scary parts. Does <laughs> the moms need the protection, Cooper? No. No. Who needs the protection? The kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they feel much better with someone on their lap. Moms can't let go of a hug without a kiss. <laughs> or two. Or nine. What about your mom, Coop? <laughs> uh, sometimes she does it like 13,000 times. Do you remember when I, when you were learning 100 in kindergarten and mom would give you 100 kisses before bed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did. I used to give them 100 kisses and they'd be like, no, mom. There are lots of things moms can't do, more than you can count. But there's one thing they do better than almost anyone. What do you think it's going to be, Coop? What do moms do better than almost anyone? Relaxing. You think relaxing? And that's love you. Oh, because she was sitting in the bed. It's I thought funny. she was relaxing. She was relaxing. But you know what? That's true. Yeah. And mommies love you the best, don't they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even if they're sad or angry or frustrated, they love you the best. Okay, moms. We hope you loved this story what moms can't do and remember that we know all that you are doing and we are very very thankful for moms right mm -hmm. okay so quickly to make a socko all you do is you take an old sock we like the super long ones because they're just funny <laughs> and then we had big googly eyes and we hot glued them on hello boys and girls I'm socko <laughs> and then on the top we just took some yarn and we had an adult, not me, my sister made this socko and she put hot glue on the top and then put some, some like yarn and she yeah. found this really fun fuzzy yarn. So this is our socko and Cooper just loves socko. <laughs> not really. Cooper's, Cooper's like, no, get socko away. But socko says goodnight to Cooper lots and lots and lots, doesn't he? Okay. We hope you enjoyed our reading and happy Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> and hope, we hope you have fun making a socko. I think Cooper and I are going to make a couple fun sockos out of some fun socks. Sound good? Mm -hmm. And we'll give them to Riri who made this one. Because Riri is the original sock, socko master, isn't she? Yeah. All right. Goodbye, boys and girls. Goodbye. Treat those mothers special and happy Mother's Day, moms. Bye.